Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at VPC flow logs. VPC flow logs is a feature that enables you to capture information about the IP traffic going to and from network interfaces in your VPC. Flow log data can be published to Amazon CloudWatch logs or Amazon S3. After you've created a flow log, you can retrieve and view its data in the chosen destination in either CloudWatch logs or S3. You can create a flow log for a VPC, a subnet, or a network interface. If you create a flow log for a subnet or VPC, each network interface in that subnet or VPC is monitored. When you create a flow log, you can specify the type of traffic to capture. The flow log can capture accepted traffic, rejected traffic or all traffic. After you've created a flow log, it can take several minutes to begin collecting and publishing data to the chosen destinations. Flow logs do not capture real-time log streams for your network interfaces. You can apply tags to your flow logs. Each tag consists of a key and an optional value, both of which you define. Tags can help you organize your flow logs, for example, organizing by purpose or ownership. Flow log data is collected outside of the path of your network traffic and therefore doesn't affect network throughput or latency. You can create or delete flow logs without any risk of impact to network performance. You can create a flow log for a VPC, a subnet, or a network interface. If you create a flow log for a subnet or VPC, all network interfaces in that subnet or VPC are monitored. For example, you can create a flow log that captures traffic for the network interface for instance A1 and publishes the flow log records to an S3 bucket. There are no flow logs that capture traffic for instance A2's network interface. You create a second flow log that captures all traffic for subnet B and publishes the flow log records to CloudWatch logs. The flow log of subnet B captures traffic for all network interfaces for all instances in subnet B. If you launch more instances into your subnet after you've created a flow log for your subnet or VPC, a new log stream for CloudWatch logs or log file object in Amazon S3 is created for each new network interface. The following table describes the available fields for a default flow log record. Version is the version of the VPC flow log format. If you use the default flow log format, the version is 2. When you use a custom format, each custom field has a version number associated with it. The version is the highest version among the specified fields. For example, if you only specify fields from version 2, the version is 2. If you specify a mixture of fields from versions 2, 3, and 4, the version is 4. AWS account ID of the owner of the source network interface for which traffic is recorded. If the network interface is created by an AWS service, for example when creating a VPC endpoint or network load balancer, the record may display unknown for this field. Interface ID is the ID of the network interface for which the traffic is recorded. Source address is the source address for incoming traffic or the IP address of the network interface for outgoing traffic on the network interface. Destination address is the destination address for outgoing traffic or the IP address of the network interface for incoming traffic on the network interface. Source port or destination port is the source or destination port of the traffic. Protocol is the IANA protocol number of traffic. For example, the protocol number of TCP traffic is 6. Packets field is the number of packets transferred during the flow. The bytes field is the number of bytes transferred during the flow. Start or end field is the start time or end time in Unix seconds, when the first or last packet of the flow was received within the aggregation interval. Action is associated with traffic, which is either accepted or rejected. Accept means the recorded traffic is permitted by the security groups and network ACL. Reject means the recorded traffic isn't permitted by the security groups and network ACL. Log status is the status of the flow log. OK means data is logging normally to the chosen destinations. No data means there was no network traffic to or from the network interface during the aggregation interval. Skip data means some flow log records were skipped during the aggregation interval. This may be because of an internal capacity constraint or an internal error. By default, the log line format for a flow log record is a space separated string that has a set of fields in the fixed order that is version, account ID, interface ID, source address, destination address, source port, destination port, protocol, packets, bytes, start, end, action, and log status. In this example, 
The flow log has captured the, the SSH traffic with destination port 22 and TCP protocol number 6, on the example network interface from the source address 172.31.16.139, to the destination address 172.31.16.21, and the action was allowed. You can optionally specify a custom format for the flow log record, for example, you can include more fields, such as VPC ID and subnet ID. For a custom format, you specify which fields to return in the flow log record, and the order in which they should appear. A custom format can also help to reduce the need for separate processes, to extract specific information from published flow logs. You can specify any number of the available flow log fields, but you must specify at least one. You can not enable flow logs for network interfaces that are in the EC2 Classic platform. This includes EC2 Classic instances that have been linked to a VPC through Classic Link. You can not enable flow logs for VPCs that are peered with your VPC, unless the peer VPC is in your account. After you've created a flow log, you cannot change its configuration or the flow log record format. For example, you cannot associate a different IAM role with a flow log, or add or remove fields in the flow log record. Instead, you can delete the flow log and create a new one with the required configuration. Flow logs do not capture all IP traffic. Traffic generated by instances when contacting the Amazon DNS server is not captured. If you use your own DNS server, then traffic to that customer DNS server is captured. Traffic generated by a Windows instance for Amazon Windows license activation is not captured. Traffic to and from 169.254.169.254 for EC2 instance metadata is not captured. Traffic to and from 169.254.169.123 for the Amazon Time Sync service is not captured. Any DHCP traffic is not captured. Traffic to the reserved IP address for the default VPC router is not captured. Traffic between an endpoint network interface and a network load balancer network interface is not captured. In this episode, we've learned VPC flow logs. VPC flow logs capture information about the IP traffic going to and from network interfaces in your VPC. You can create a flow log for a VPC subnet or network interface. If you create a flow log for a subnet or VPC, all network interfaces in that subnet or VPC are monitored. When you create a flow log, you can specify the type of traffic to capture. The flow log can capture the accepted traffic, rejected traffic, or all traffic. Flow log data can be published to CloudWatch logs or S3. After you've created a flow log, you can retrieve and view its data in the chosen destination, in either CloudWatch logs or S3. Okay, that's all for VPC flow logs. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.